Spider-Man 1, a great movie. Spider-Man 2, also a great movie. Spider-Man 3, eh, it could have been a lot better. The Amazing Spider-Man reboot. It's a pretty solid movie. Amazing Spider-Man 2, again, it could have been a lot better. As for the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies, some are good, some are great, and Marvel has been making consistently good movies. And I always wanted to see Spider-Man and Wolverine in the action. Then, it happened. On the roof! Hey everyone. Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Oh my gosh, to see Spider-Man with the Avengers in live action, it's like a dream come true. And of course, I was looking forward to the Spider-Man Homecoming movie. It's not as good as the other ones. For the record, I do not know any people that seems to like this movie better than the other movies or if the Sam Raimi trilogy is better than this new movies, I, I don't know. But either way, while this movie does a good job capturing the spirit of Spider-Man, some parts in the movie is just not appealing to me. And some of it is just rather unfunny and it makes me cringe. Not to mention, there's actually a few inconsistent parts as well. I grew up with the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies. I watched a few episodes of some cartoons. I played many of the games, especially the movie licensed games. So, what problems do I have with this movie that just makes it not as good as the other movies in my opinion? Let's find out. So we open with the 1989 Batman as Adrian Toomes. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Ah, you knew it was coming. So Adrian is salvaging the alien parts until the government comes in to, well, be assholes. If you have a grievance, you may take it up with my superiors. Your superiors? Who the hell are they? The joint venture between Stark Industries and the federal government, the Department of Damage Control, will oversee the collection and storage of alien and other exotic materials. Fuck you, Iron Man! So, just to clarify, another feeling is created because Stark is an asshole. The world's changing. It's time we change too. Yeah, the world's changing, alright. Pretty soon, 80% of the world will be assholes. Then we cut to the usual Marvel logo with, to be fair, a pretty cool remix of the classic Spider-Man song. It's much better than the original song. Shut up. Shut up! Oh, come on, play a different song and stop! <sighs> so then we see Peter recording some footage, especially during the events of Civil War, and... Oh my gosh. It's inconsistent. He's big now, I gotta go. Hang on. He was supposed to shout out holy shit. It would have been a lot funnier because he could have dropped the camera and then say that. But nope! So when's when's our next step? When's our next retreat, you know? Like what, next mission? Yeah, yeah, the mission, the missions. We'll call you. Well, did you have my numbers? No, I mean we'll call you. Like someone will call you. Oh. Alright? From your team. Okay. That's not a hug, I'm just grabbing the door for you. We're not, we're not there. Uh, what was the point in that? Bye. So, after Civil War happened, Peter Parker was completely different. He keeps waiting for his next Avengers mission assignment, but nothing seems to be happening for two months. And we engage in some high school cliches. Sub penis, Parker! I'll lock out the basic phone with your son, my place. Flash being the fastest isn't always the best if you are wrong. I am so glad she's not talking about Sonic. Sorry, Mr. Dalmore. Hey, Mr. Parker. That's me. Five, right? Hi, kitty. So Peter changes into his costume that- Oh, for goodness sake. Peter, look behind you. Why did people walk in? 
Then we get into a montage of him doing hero work, and I'll admit it's pretty humorous. You're that Spider Guy on YouTube, right? Call me Spider Man! Okay, Spider Man! Go flip! Die! Finally, we get to the NTM robbery, just like in the trailers. However, this one is just botched. What's up, guys? You forgot your pin number? Whoa, you're the Avengers! What are you guys doing here? Thor, uh, uh, Hulk, good to finally meet you guys. I'm sorry, but this is just made awkward and not as funny as it could have been just like in the trailers. Just take a look at the trailers. What's up, guys? Wait a minute. You guys aren't the real Avengers. I can tell Hulk gives it away. Awesome. Just got started, movie. How do you mess this up? <laughs> Ugh, whatever. The bad guys end up getting away eventually. Boo hoo. Come on. What was that? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Wait a minute. Peter Parker just came in through the window, and Aunt May never asked how he got here. That doesn't make any sense. Do you lay eggs? What? No. Can you spit venom? I'm sorry, but the whole montage of him asking Peter what he can do is just unfunny as hell. Next! Do you know him too? Yeah, we met. I stole the shield. How can nobody hear that? Like, what if he's, like, seriously burned? I wouldn't care. I would still love him for the person he is on the outside. Peter no Spider-Man! <sighs> you know what? Maybe you should invite him to Liz's party, right? Yeah, um, I'm having people over tonight. You're more than welcome to come. NEXT! <laughs> okay, so there's some weapon steal going on. Okay, that should be... Okay, what the hell is that? So, he uh, never thought to turn off his phone in case he needs to be stealthy? Just to clarify, Spider-Man has a spider sense. He even has one in Civil War. Shouldn't he have avoided it or seen it coming? So Spider-Man chases after the truck. And just to clarify again, this chase could have easily been avoided if Spider-Man turned off his fucking phone! Great! A shortcut that has a lot of unfunny awkward stuff. Now this is more like it! Not funny! Not funny! Smells really good! Not funny! Great movie! Not funny! Oh, hey guys! This isn't funny! Before Peter could manage to stop the truck, however, the Fulcher shows up and attacks him. Why doesn't he just try to whip his face? Asshole Stark saves Peter and tells him not to go after the Vulture and to just call if he sees the high-tech weapons again. But we all know this cliche, he's not gonna listen, he's gonna keep going just to prove himself. Next. Good enough. Yeah. Now you're the shocker. Go out there and find that weapon he lost. The shocker serves little to no purpose. Yeah, he was great in Spider-Man 1 and 2, the video games, but he... Nah. Whoever's making these weapons is obviously combining alien tech with ours. That is literally the coolest sentence anyone has ever said. No, it isn't. Maybe. Keep your fingers clear of the blades. Yeah, I don't care if you don't give a crap, 
People should look up every now and then. You're right. Whatever. Look, Shaka's in school.